Today, we're learning about exponents. So the objective of today's lesson is making sure that you understand what exponents are and how they might be useful. I would like you to take a look at this slide and tell me what you notice. Even go ahead and pause the video for a couple seconds so that you can think about what you notice in these images. All right, so hopefully you paused for just a second. And you might say something like, well, what I notice is that there are four dots, and then there are eight dots, and then there are 16 dots. And so you notice that each time these are doubling, and you would be absolutely correct about that. So there's definitely a pattern going on here. So this first group can be represented by this expression. This says two to the second power. And what it means is two times two. So this is called the base, and that's the number that we are multiplying. We're multiplying the number two. Now this is the exponent, and that's how many times we're multiplying it. So we're multiplying it once and twice. So two to the second power, or two squared, is equal to four. Now I wonder if you could try to guess what this one might be called and what, the, and what this one might be called. Go ahead and pause for just a couple of seconds. And if you said that this one could be called two to the third power, you'd be correct. And two to the fourth power. So the way we get that is we started with two, and we multiplied that by two. And then we multiply that by 2. All right, so we're using the base, the number that we're multiplying. We use the exponent to tell us how many times we're multiplying that. So let's take a look at this one. We started with 2, and then we multiplied that by 2. So, so far we've got 2 times 2. And then we multiplied that by 2. And then we multiply that by 2. So now we've got our base. That's the number that we're multiplying. And we've got our exponent. That's how many times we're multiplying that number together. So I will ask you to write this down a little bit later. But just so that you remember, the base is the number. And then that little number that is kind of higher than the rest, that is called the exponent. The base is the number that we're multiplying, and the exponent tells us how many times we're using that number as a base. So we've got 10 two times. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. So 10 squared, or 10 to the second power, is 100. So when you look at a problem like 9 times 9, you might say, oh, well, that's easy. That's 81. And you wouldn't be wrong. But 9 times 9 is also the same as 9 to the second power, or 9 squared. 9 times 9 is equal to 9 multiplied together 2 times. 9 squared is the same as 81. 8 times 8 times 8 is the same as 8 to the 1, 2, 3rd power. 8 times 8 is 64. Then I have to take 64 and multiply that times 8. That'll take me just a minute. Hang on. So 8 to the 3rd power, 8 times 8 times 8 is equal to 512. I did my work up here. I bet you can do this one. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 2 to the 4th power. Now, I want you to be really, really careful because a lot of kids make this mistake. They say, oh, well, that's easy. That's 8. 2 times 4 is 8. 4 twos is 8. But remember, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. When we put this multiplication sign in, that changes everything. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 2 to the 4th power. 
2 times 2 is equal to 4. And I could multiply 4 times 2 and get 8, and 8 times 2 and get 16. I can also go like this. I'm going to do take care of these two 2's. That's 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And then I'm going to multiply these together. 4 times 4 equals 16. So 2 to the 4th power is equal to 16. OK, let's do a little experiment here. We've got two expressions, 5 to the 4th power and 4 to the 5th power. So this one looks like 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. And this one looks like 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, now some kids might look at this and say, oh, these must be the same, 5 to the 4th and 4 to the 5th. But let's do the multiplication and find out. All right, so 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25. Now I need to multiply 25 times 25. All right, so I did my math. 5 to the fourth power is equal to 625. Now let's take a look at 4 to the fifth power. 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times 4 is 16. And then I have to multiply that times 4. So now I've got 16 times 16 times 4. So let's do that math. Hang on one second. OK, so I got 16 times 16 is 256, but I still have to multiply that times 4. So 256 times 4. I know 250 times 4 is 1,000. And I know 4 times 6 is 24. So I know that this is going to be 1,024. So 4 to the fifth power is 1,024. Now, if you can see this, that's a big difference between 5 to the fourth and 4 to the fifth. So see if you can figure out which one is greater, 2 to the third power or 3 to the second power. Go ahead and pause. All right, so hopefully you figured this out. Let's take a look. 2 times 2 times 2, or 3 times 3. So again, this is the base, the number that we're multiplying, and we're multiplying it together three times. 1, 2, 3. This is the base, the number we're multiplying, and we're multiplying it together two times. 1, 2. So 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is equal to 8. And 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So 2, the, two to the third power is 8, and 3 to the second power is 9. So the, to answer our question, this one is greater. All right, I want you to make a guess on this one. Which one do you think is bigger, 10 to the second power or 2 to the tenth power? Let's take a look at what this would look like. So we've got 10 times 10, or, oh boy, 2 times 2. Remember, this is the base, the number we're multiplying, and this is how many times we multiply it. So times 2 times 2, that's 4, 5, 6, uh-oh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, which one do you think is bigger? 10 times 10 is 100. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32, times 2 is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, 128 times 2 is 256, 256 times 2 is 512, is that right? 250 times 2 is 500, 12 more is 512, and then multiply that times 2, and I've got 1,024. So by a long shot, 2 to the 10th power is greater than 10 to the second power. Okay, you survived this lesson on exponents. These are the notes that I would like you to write in your math notes notebook in Good Notes. Now, if you want to take a screenshot of this so that you can see it, you can split screen your iPad so that you can write this. But I would like you to write these notes in your own writing. We need to know what is the definition of a base? What is the definition of an exponent? 
and then I want you to write a couple of examples. Again, in your math notebook in Good Notes. And after this video, you will be able to go to Schoology to find your assignment.